Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Audi Q3. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre TDI S-Line Quattro. It's 2013 on a 63 plate. Has done 43,819 miles. MOT'd until the 29th of the 6th, 2021. And last serviced on the 30th of the 6th, 2020. Fuel economy. Urban is 40.9 miles per gallon. Extra urban is 56.5 miles per gallon and combined is 49.5 miles per gallon. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 9.9 .9 seconds, a top speed of 122 miles per hour out of 138 brake horsepower, 16 valve, four cylinder engine. Road tax, six months is £90.75 and 12 months is £165. Uh, quite a nice looking car, um, the Q3, a big chrome plated grille there. Uh, front fogs, I think they're Xenons, the S-Line badges on the side, the five twin spoke alloys, and we've got this, it's, I, I think it finishes it off, doesn't do a whole lot really, because if it was a plastic trim, when you scuff the wheel arch, you could just replace a plastic, but this is colour coded, so you've got it painted as well. Got the sill protectors there, the chrome window surrounds, rear privacy glass, and the aluminium roof bar carrier system, integrated roof and tailgate spoiler, rear wash wipe there, electric boot release, it's the hard rear load cover there, split rear back seats, a fair old bit of room in the, in the back, uh, rear parking sensors, twin chrome exhaust tips, Nice high seat backs. It's uh, partial leather or half leather and cloth interior. Uh, cloth center panels there. You've got the Isofix Child rear seat anchor points. Hard plastic on the, the back of the, the front seats there, sculpted so you can get your knees in. You've got a bit more leg room. Um, lovely car. It's, um, it's quite plain. Uh, but having said that, it's how I like them, to be honest. Uh, you've got the, the brushed aluminium insets in the door cards, the uh, gear tunnel and the dashboard. And it's, it's just typical German, functional, nice, clean, uh, lovely car. Nice and clean in the back. It's great. OK, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Two uh, proper Audi keys put on the clutch start the vehicle just tell you the service history which uh, if I can read it 16th of 11 2013 uh, that looks like that's a PDI at Dundee Audi uh, and to be honest I bought a car at Dundee Audi as well uh, from my girlfriend an Audi A1 so uh, I do know they're a very very good uh, company to deal with. Um, 5th of 11th 2015 12,560 miles Dundee Audi. 23rd of the 9th 2016 at 16,682 miles Dundee Audi that's uh, brake fluid and uh, if any, any of you don't know uh, brake fluid is hygroscopic which means it absorbs water. If you brake hard brake fluid uh, you can't compress brake fluid you can't compress water however if you brake hard the water turns to steam steam's a gas and can be compressed so you, you lose your braking and that's why it's important to have your your brake fluid uh, changed and um, supposed to be done every year I think 22nd of the 12 2016 at 18,321 miles Dundee Audi 30th 11th 2017 at 23843 miles Dundee Audi and then 30th of 6th 2020 41,726 miles Holmes Motor Engineers and it's now done 43,825 so uh, I quite <laughs> as I said before I, I like I like gadgets but I like cars to be uh, 
functional plane and where you don't have to take your eyes off the road for uh, for a second um, here we go we've got height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel um, the automatic handbrake which as long as you've got your seat bolt on will pull off if you've not got your seat bolt on it won't let you go unless you knock it off by uh, hand so quite a good feature although when you're in a hurry and sometimes you're trying to drive off and put your seat bolt on like some people do then uh, it won't let you go and it can be a bit annoying <laughs> so it's, it's a really really functional layout a nice clean layout um, everything's everything's to hand nothing you don't need no stupid gadgets um, I, in fact if it had a handbrake a proper handbrake it it it'd possibly be my ideal car higher up off the road nice seating position you feel nice and safe in it very sure-footed on the road I do like Audis that's uh, and it, it's it's been so well looked after looks like a new car inside <laughs> you I suppose it's uh, it's really nice it's it's got the cloth seats which are more comfortable and more practical and warmer in winter and summer don't look as good as leather um, but certainly uh, I would say more practical and to be honest these days with the manufacturers going towards plastic leather, pleather, artico leather, I'd rather have cloth. Um, although it's supposedly, well it is easier to clean than normal leather and plus the colour doesn't come off like because you can only use water-based products these days in cars so uh, if you put the wrong stuff on the seats the, the colour comes off the leather um, it, it's just cloth is just probably we, we're better we're better going back to cloth and forgetting about leather but nice car no wobbles to so say everything's to hand um, you can have an update or you can get an update from the Audi dealer uh, for the, the sat nav but it's got bluetooth hands-free uh, bluetooth audio streaming and sat nav really these days um, I think the manufacturers should do away with all the audio system and the sat nav make the cars cheaper and uh, just like Apple CarPlay just let you put, plug your phone in I mean to be fair I would imagine pretty much most of the systems in the car they reckon you've got more computer processing power in your phone these days than, than they had when they sent the Apollo 11 to the moon so why not just make it so you can plug your your, your phone in and uh, control all your instruments make it cheaper make it less to go wrong uh, make it like one of these you well one of the sat nav units in some of the other cars they're about two and a half grand and you've got all the stuff in your phone. Just a thought. So, front centre armrest. It's actually got in there, that looks like an iPod connector. I'm sure you'll be able to get an updated one for a, the lightning connector or just looking at that taxi, it's got uh, it's a good idea. He's, he's got like a chauffeur petition, but it's uh, it's made of plastic. Not sure how it would go on with a front seat passenger, but good thinking there. A 
let's see what we got. Nice clear display. Rev counter on the left in the bottom of the what a very strange maneuver. <laughs> There's somebody coming up here now to They've moved into the outside lane and when there's nothing in the inside lane and now back in, oh well, back to the car. So it's the Quattro as well, it's four wheel drive, nice steering wheel, the perforated leather, better, better grip. On Here on the left, indicators on the right wipers. You can control your information display, which is in the center there. That's showing my phone, directory, and uh, time, and so on. On the right hand side, you've got your speedo, and in the speedo, there's your fuel gauge. So, th this, this car is unbelievably clean, and uh, it, it actually smells <laughs> a bit like. Um, it's probably Lance's um, sterilising um, <laughs> products, but it smells a bit like when you were at school and you used to use that like amber sort of soap, <laughs> and the whole school smelt of it. But, uh, but it, anyway, at least it's clean. It doesn't smell of smoke or dogs. Nice aluminium panel around the gear stick. It's six speed gearbox. Nice smooth gear change and light clutch. Good pickup of speed. You just see there, I was messing about before uh, with the, the music settings and uh, Audi have a uh, setting for the speakers, which I think it's called Gala, which is really good. And I, I put that on so the, the, the sounds great. And uh, which is quite funny because whoever had it before had the bass turned all the way up. And I would have thought they'd have had Gala on as well. But that's, that's the tone there. See Gala there active and then fader balance and so on. In each of the corners, there's a kind of an instruction which corresponds to these four buttons so that's telephone which you can uh, change your settings on system over in the other in the left hand corner there you go they're doing just short of 70 miles an hour 2000 revs Check the door mirrors, electric door mirrors. Yep, left one's working, right one's too. It's a, it's a nice, honest car. There's your central display, which you can control from this button here. Move up and down with that button, and then through the menus using the arrows there. On the right hand side, voice activation. Not sure. All right, so that's uh, radio and volume control there. Headlights on the side there. You've got your electric window switches there. automatic air con then we've got a power socket there and it, it's uh, it's actually got a cigarette lighter this one I, um, I might take that on Antiques Roadshow show it Arthur Negus you don't get them in very many cars anymore
steering is really nice. Driving for, position for me is great. Uh, just right, and I, I can drive with my elbow on the armrest. And virtually, uh, well, yeah, I can with my. I can, I can change gear without taking my arm off the armrest. Lazy man's driving. two cup holders here kind of a travel mug holder in the door pocket stroke flask I suppose stroke bigger bottle this is what I like about Quattro's Audis You never feel like you're going to fishtail going around a roundabout or a sharp bend. And it's quite it's very, very damp conditions today. It's been raining all morning. This roundabout gets a lot of stick as well, as you can see. Lurries going into Preston that way and Blackburn that way and up and down the motorway or joining. It's one of those places that on a motorbike you take very, very gingerly coming around here. Oh, you nearly caused a massive pile up then. I thought the guy in the van behind was going to uh, rear end me. Where I um, photograph the cars, it's near a lot of main dealers and I see them uh, testing the cars and to be honest, I despair watching them, I really do. Um, the, the speed they drive, the mechanics are driving up and down the road, uh, especially, it, I've seen them do it in some older cars as well. And, I saw a chap before, I mean I come up here and, and basically if there's any knocks on the steering you can hear them, you can hear the knocks by loading the front wheels normally and then taking the load off, turning the other way. So kind of a, a reasonably sharp motion but then the other way. And the guy was going up the road doing that, now unless he was listening for a marble or something, um, I don't know but also on his own when you're listening for a, a noise like that ideally there should be two people one to drive and concentrate on driving and the other one to listen for the noise um, this when when i was a kind of an apprentice this was our test track I, I worked at an opal dealer down the road here this road was our test track and uh, i remember we had a customer called mr brewer who was a lovely chap he used to get a new car every year. The first thing he did was take it home and, and clean it, even after we'd cleaned it. And it was it was always it was absolutely fantastic. He used to get the the rocker cover box uh, chromed, absolute all pipes polished underneath. Everything was beautiful. And he he had this. He came back and he bought an Opel Manta, and, and he had this noise on the on the Opel Manta, and it was coming from the back at a certain miles per hour and the mechanics went out in it couldn't find anything we sat in the back seat and, and so on and then of course it came down to me bearing in mind I was on, I was only young I had to I had to go in the boot and listen for this noise in the boot while the mechanic drove up here and I'm not sure whether any of you have been kidnapped before but it's not very pleasant being in a boot in a car and it certainly wasn't pleasant in those days because it was mostly all metal. But anyway, we tracked it down. It, it was the, the the springs juddering at the back and touching. But uh, yeah, test tracks. 
and noises on cars, don't get me started. So when we get back to the garage, I'll, I'll show you how to pair a mobile, how to delete a mobile, how to stream audio. And uh, I, I can tell you, it's a lovely car. There's, there's nothing I can't pick up on anything. Let me just try the wipers. Yep, yeah, no noises from the wipers. Well, that. Uh, and when, when I say no noises from the wipers, what I really meant was no noises from the front wipers. But there's no water on the back screen, so let's just see. Let's just see if that goes off with a bit of water. No, it's awful. If you're coming to buy this car, remind us that that's, we need to put a new wiper on the back. I don't know. Um, okay, I'll finish the test drive there. Just trying to think what other cars we've, we've got. We've got some absolutely fantastic cars in at the moment. They really are, uh, really are beautiful. I, I think our Westminster sold this morning. And um, we've got we've got quite a few people on the Audi A8 that I, I videoed yesterday, um, but we we've, we're very lucky to have some fantastic cars. Also, we were listening to well, we started to listen to a, a podcast by Auto Trader this morning, and it was so negative that I switched it off. Um, but basically, the their experts reckon that used cars are going to go through the roof, there's going to be a shortage, there's going to be this, that and the other, um, all due to Brexit. I can't understand it myself, seeing as we've gone through two world wars, uh, other wars, we've gone through numerous stock market crashes, numerous recessions, electric strikes, coal strikes, Um, the Millennium Bug, we've gone through all that, we've come out the, the other side, massive VAT increases, uh, the, there used to be a, another car tax which was knocked off, you know, all, all those things and the UK motor industry has survived and the UK itself survived and because we're leaving a, a club, everything's going to collapse, I, I, I don't see it. However, just to be on the safe side, <laughs> I think the message was buy your car now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.